All right, nostalgic, so I guess we're going to be going to Morning Myrtle's bathroom. Did I mispronounce that? I feel like I did. Again, I've been drinking a little bit. My apologies. Oh, I've already been in here. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, why not? I could do with some more beans. Although I'm not that interested. Like, I really don't need to hit that guy over and over guy. Wow. Sorry! Drinking, drinking, drinking. It's a good time. But so, um, I was just talking about J.K. Rowling, how you need to read the books. Again, I'm not going to force you to do something that you don't want to do. Like, it's, it's totally cool if you don't, but... SCARS! I feel like it shouldn't even be I'm fabulous anymore. Did you see that, like, stone-cold look of nothingness on his face, though? That was hilarious. But, um, yeah, you guys, you can, you can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to read the books, but just, I, I don't know, maybe, I feel like it's changed so many people's lives, including mine, and it's so crazy to have something that, you know, it's so, it's so crazy to have a book change your life, especially one that, you know, it's about fantasy and magic, and it's... I've talked enough about it. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys get the point at this time. I've already been here. Again, double checking every nook and cranny. But yeah, so, um, read the books if you can. Follow me, Harry. Oh! Ron! What the hell, bro? What? Okay. Following you. Uh, what? Ron is not the type to just jump downstairs! He's standing there, just like, hey, so you coming or what? That's, I, alright, whatever. You know, you would think that someone would already, like, wash off the blood. It probably makes students uncomfortable, but yet they're just like, eh, nope, it's cool, we'll just leave this up here as a reminder that the I chamber of- that the Chamber of Secrets has been open. I'll just keep this open as a reminder to the Muggleborns who probably need to pay attention. Oh god. I have no words. I just knocked this over so that I know that I've been here before and I don't need to come back. On the other hand, Charms is on in the other side of the on the other side of the corridor. And I need to go to it because I saw a tre treasure chest or something. I saw a, be a bean. That's what it was. Here's Flitwick's charms classroom. A twig. Yeah, there's like a treasure chest here, I think. Five sixty-six. Yes, I can afford new Quidditch armor. My British is terrible. I used to write that on my resume because I aspired to be an actress back in the day. And I'm, I still aspire to be a singer because singing is one thing that I'm actually like okay at. I suck at acting. But singing it's actually like something I'm pretty decent at. But Valley Girl is something, not Valley Girl, British accent. Valley Girl I put down too. But British accent is something I put down. It's something I can do. But obviously I'm not very good at it. But you know. Keep practicing is what Harry says. Let's go, Harry. I feel very uncomfortable being in the girls' bathroom. <clears throat> I wish people would stop interrupting my peace and quiet. I do have feelings, you know, even if I am dead. She's very touchy, isn't she? What's that horrible stink, Hermione? That will be the polyjuice potion. <laughs> now... One more ingredient for the potion to be completely effective. Oh no. We're going to need a bit of goil to complete the potion. That's disgusting! But how will I find goil? At this time, he's usually filling his face down in the dungeon. Dungeons? You mean in the Great Hall? All you need to do is follow the trail of food, get the bit of goil, and leave that gift to me. Good luck, Harry! Uh, thanks, Ron. Alright, at this point, after, um,. I get a bit of Goyle's hair, I'm going to sign off, so let's do this. Hey, Goyle. There, 
is Goyle. I'd better follow him. He looks drunk as hell. Like, did you see him? He was about to fall over. Yeah, he's hammered. Let's go. And he just leaves drunks drumsticks behind? I find it really weird that he just leaves drumsticks behind. Oh god, bow truckles. I'm not happy. First off. He fell apart really easily. I'm really glad that I actually got another scar. Because this way I got my health back up. It'd be very helpful if- oh. I thought there was- Obviously I don't know everything about the game. I thought there was going to be a, um... I thought there was going to be a gnome over there to collect these thingies, but apparently not. Hey, Sammy. For those of you who don't know, I have a cat. His name is Sammy. Why are there spiders on me? Back the fuck off me, you guys. Um, he's a cute cat. He's not even a year old, but he's fat already. I don't know how the hell he did it. I don't even feed him that much. Like, I feed him a decent amount. Or maybe you guys can help me. If any of you guys who are, like, cat lovers or have a cat... Um, this is the first time I actually have a cat on my own, because my parents have had cats before, and that's how I grew to understand and like cats. But this fucking cat, like, he was born in February, it is August now, no, September, dear Jesus, I'm way behind on the times. So it is September now, he was born in February, he's getting close to a year old. But he already has the fattest butt I have ever seen on a cat. I don't know if it's because he's a male. I've always had just female cats. But he is, like, fat. Anyway, so what I do is, um, I give him a whole bowl. And it's, like, you know, relatively, like, small bowl. Just like what you see at a regular store. Like a little small cat dog bowl. Whatever. I give him a bowl of dry cat food in the morning when I wake up before I go to work. He has gotten into the habit now of eating it all, because before he, like, usually left, like, a small amount. I almost fell. He's usually always left a small amount behind, but now he's done with it. He finishes it. Hold on. So, he... So, <laughs> So he finishes it all now, and in the evening at like 8-ish, I give him, like, you know how there's big amounts of cat food and there's small amounts of cat food, like small cans and big cans? I give him a whole small amount, uh, the, a whole small can of cat food. What does this do? I don't think this- oh, I see what this does. Okay. So I give him a whole, like, small can of cat food. And he, you know, eats it all up. And... He still is hungry. I don't- again, I don't know if it's because he's a male. Or if I'm giving him, like, two small amounts of food, but... I feel like I give him a lot of food. Like, I feel like that's something that should be enough for the day, but apparently he doesn't agree. Like, he's still hungry all the time. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. Um, apparently on top of there because there's beans there. Oh! There's a gargoyle here. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, if anyone's good with cats... It doesn't matter that I've had one, like, for half of my life. I still don't understand why this cat, I swear I give him, like, an appropriate amount of food. That's not too much food, I don't think. Yet, 
he's fucking hungry all the time, and he's fat. Well, he's not fat. His butt's just fat. So if anyone can help me solve the mystery, please let me know. I'm pretty sure I'll go back because I feel like... I feel like Lumos is supposed to light something else up over here. And it's about to go out. I don't know where it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be up here or somewhere else, but, like, Loomis is going to... Aha! I'm so glad I came back. Yeah, silver wizard card. Awesome! I kind of want to check to see how many wizard cards I have and how many I need, but I feel like that's going to drive me into insanity. Especially since I have one secret missing from the Rick to Simper challenge, and I still have no idea what it is, and I swear I've been to every single nook and cranny of that fucking challenge. So, oh god! Oh god, he's humongous! What am I supposed to do with this guy? He's my size! Okay, him my- oh my god. Please, 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 go away. I don't even know what to do with you. Can you fit through here? I feel like you can. Please leave. Okay, um, let's just assume that he's safe and okay in there. God, that was terrifying. Like, where's the gnome? Where the hell is the gnome? The computer's really, really hot. It's like burning my skin alive. I miss having a desktop computer. I'll just say it. I... Oh, he wants to give me a hug, but no, I won't give him one. I will go and... Ooh, he can go... No, it's okay. I'll just toss him in there, because I don't want anything to do with him. It should come out as no surprise to anyone that because I'm so nostalgic and I love the olden days, I really miss desktop computers. What happens if I go through here? Is this like a secret room? So I really miss old desktop computers. I kind of miss Windows 98, but I think that's because I miss these games working right on my computer. Because you guys have probably seen, like, there every once in a while, like, times when it falters or it, like, hits, like, a weird point. Don't drink any of my alcohol, cat. Um, it just reaches moments where it just, um, just, just, just doesn't work. I actually have a Desperate Housewives game that I really, really like, and I wish I could continue playing, but I can't, because it just, like, it doesn't register, it doesn't work right with my system. And it's really depressing to me, because I really feel like I'd love that game. Like, I already love it, and I can only play up to a certain point. So those of you who have played the game before, um, I can get to a poker- Get the hell away from me, cat. I can get to a certain point in the game, um, I think it's like their second or third- Oops. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. I did not mean to throw you up against the wall. I just wanted to take you home. Um, so I- it's like my second or third poker game, and it just, like, stops. It, like, it won't let me go. It just crashes completely. But, yeah, so, I like the Desperate Housewives game. It's fun until I can't go any further. Stupid frog. Let me eat you. Thank you. That looks like a wall that can be opened. Sammy, you're going crazy. Which wall went? Oh! There's a gargoyle right there! Cat, what the hell are you doing? Oh, there it is! And the cat's right above my head. That's cool. You know, for a secret place, I wish it would have more than just beans. That's just me. I don't know. 
That's just me. Can this open? No. I think this is the direction I'm supposed to go in. But I don't want to go in that direction, not yet. I think I want to go in this direction. Oh god, I forgot about this. Maybe I'm not supposed to go in this direction. Um, alright, let's back it up. There we go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, hello. I can go through here. Oh god, hello. I love how I got the frog instantaneously with that one. Goyle came all this way, really? I'm supposed to believe that Goyle came all this way. I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't buy that. There's no way that Goyle came all this way. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to go that way or that way? I don't want to go like one way but then find out like whoops like this was the right way to go but like you can't go the other way anymore you know what I mean anyways I'll just go this way because it seems right I have no idea where I am or where I'm supposed to go. I'm not going on. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go, honestly. I just see that there's a chocolate frog here, so why not? Even though I'm at full health, let's go. Because I take whatever I want, because I'm Harry Potter. And that's just- Ooh! Okay, this is the extra way to go. I figured it out. Yeah, this was definitely the extra way to go. That wasn't, like, the ultimate way to go, because otherwise, like... I, I don't know, I just have a feeling about it. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys know the feeling where it's just like... Okay, I know I'm allowed to go this way or should go this way, but this isn't the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's three heads here, cool. Um, don't need those things because they're unnecessary to me and my life. That almost got me. Every once in a while I just get the impulse to wanna say British stuff. He almost screamed. I don't- aw. I was almost happy. I kinda like it when he screams. I find it really funny. Alright, well, now that I've been through here because... I know this, this is the, mm. oh, I guess I might as well do this right. Oops! Okay, well I guess that's not doing it right. So, I'm chock full of it. I don't know why he stopped. You can fuck off. I don't want anything to do with you. Hello. Okay, let's try to avoid this without doing anything. Yay. Door slams. Fuck yeah. Oh no! Damn it. I'm sorry, there's no way that go through here. We all know that he's stupid. Like, there's no way. And I go up higher. Now what? I don't like this. I don't like this! Again, I got a small mini heart attack. Yeah, no, there's no way that Goyle went through this. This scared the hell out of me. It really did. I don't like this. Can I just fucking pluck out his hairs and be done with it? Really? This is such an asshole thing to do. 
Okay, fine, fine. I just won't get the frogs. I don't care anymore. I don't care. I don't need those stupid frogs. I'm done. A library? Yeah, no. Doyle definitely wouldn't have gone this way. There's no fucking way he would have gone this way. Get the hell away from me. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. Wait, no. That's a hidden room. How many secret rooms are there? Four out of eight secrets. I'm not doing good so far with this. Again, I shouldn't even check because I'll just end depressed, honestly. I used to be really good at this game, I promise. Like, I mean... I'm not gonna say I'm not because... Like, I'm still, you know, going through life just okay as Harry Potter. But... Of course that happened. Oh god! I just, like, I used to be able to know where everything was, and I don't know what the hell happened since then. Um, well, this is interesting. Oh, okay. I mean, like, a lot of it has to do with what you remember, I guess, and what you don't, but... Is that the other side? I don't know. Sorry, I'm really confused about this, so I'm just like taking my time to analyze the situation because this is making no sense to me whatsoever. And I still want to get through this in like a good amount of time. And not waste anyone's time by just like chilling. Um, I forgot what I was saying too. There's another gargoyle. How many fucking gargoyles are there? Is that the way to go? I don't want to go that way yet. Well, what does this gargoyle do? I don't think anything. All right. Um, not until I get to that side. Just fall, dude. Okay. Um, let's make it all blue now. Cool, that door opened. Let's see what that has in store. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I'm tired. Not like of this game, but I mean, I'm tired in general. I'm exhausted. It was. It's, it's, it's Monday. Or at least, um, the day that I'm recording this, it's a Monday. I don't know what day I'm actually going to upload this. Hopefully, I, I want to upload it today. But you never know what's going to happen, honestly. Oh, God. I should have known. I should have fucking known. There was no way... that I could have done anything. Um. Ooh, that's a lot of frogs. I'm down. They weren't trying to hop away from me. Dude, I've had a chocolate frog before. Um, have I? I'm trying to remember if I've ever said anything about the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Not the Wizarding World. I'm so sorry. The, um... The, uh... Harry Potter Studios tour that I've taken. So, once upon a time, I studied abroad in London. And it was the best experience of my life. By the way, I love London a lot. It's a wonderful place. It's it's fantastic. If, if I could live there, I would. I feel like I need to backtrack here. Like, I don't know where this place lit up. 
It lights up somewhere, but I don't know where. Sorry, backtracking. Just want to make sure that I don't miss anything, even though I have missed a lot. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, ooh, I almost died. Whatever. So like I said before, once upon a time, I studied um, abroad in London, and it was the best experience of my life. And if I could live there, I could. Like I said before. And I heard about this um, Harry Potter tour. And it's not like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter where you can just, you know, like, go on rides and stuff. It's it's behind the scenes. It's kind of like if you've ever been to Universal Studios where you can go behind the scenes, learn how things were filmed, go to actual sets where films were filmed. It was that. I went to where they filmed Harry Potter, Harry Potter Studios. And I swear when I first got there, I cried because they had us go through the, um, the, the, the... Not the main entrance, but the Great Hall. It was... I, I started crying, I swear to you. I, it was just... Again, Harry Potter has a big influence on my life. I, I don't know why exactly. I don't know what the psychology of it is behind it, of why I'm so emotionally drawn to Harry Potter. But I, I am, and I can't help it. It's just... It was an incredible thing to be just there. God, I can't, like, I want to go back so bad, and... Oh! You know, it's nice being up here when there's a gnome down there. C can they fight? I kind of want to see them, like, have a battle. Oh, okay, he can hit me from up here. He's obviously not thinking about the gnome that's right in front of him. That gnome is just as easily invading your home as I am, you asshole. You know what? I'm coming for you first. You asshole. Sorry, bro. I honestly didn't even have anything bad to think about you or say about you at this point. It was a, the bow truckle, and... It was the main fact that he was invading his home even more. He was tearing apart those things, and... He didn't give a shit. He was just pissed off that I was there. How dare he? How dare he? Like, I didn't do anything bad. I literally just appeared on the ledge, surveyed my surroundings. I didn't even have anything to say. I wasn't even kill him. I've been rushing past all these bow truckles. But no, like, nope, 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 nope. Let's all be mean to Harry Potter. Because, you know, he's faced Voldemort. His parents got killed by Voldemort. Let's just be even more fucking mean to him. Why the fuck not? The audacity. <sighs> you know what? I'm starting to understand Harry Potter just a little bit more. I'm starting to understand him as a misguided character. And even though he has his moments of like, Oh, I'm so modest, but not really because once the attention is off of me, then I get fucking pissed. Like, you know what? Fine. Everyone has character flaws. But everyone fucking picks on him all the time. And that's just not cool. I am officially not cool with it. I am officially a Harry Potter like. I, I, I'm, I, I got your back, Harry Potter. I got you. I mean, not just because I control you and I want to make sure that you don't die because then I don't get to finish the game, but I got you because that's some pretty fucked up shit that you've, you've had to go through. Like, that's, that's, that's messed up. Is that where I have to go? Oh, that's where I have to go? How does he see that from up there? <laughs> His drumstick is twitching. <laughs> it's twitching. God. Wait, I want to see if there's anything else I can get. Like, if there's any buried treasure somewhere. Oh. 
turn around, guys. What's, what happens if I go through here? There's another bow truckle here. Oh, God! That was alarming. Please don't harm me. There's already been enough shit go going bad in my life. Like, I do not deserve to be harmed. Oh, Jesus. This is some fucked up shit, honestly. Like, he was just a baby. And I know he said this millions of- t oh, okay, that's cool. I know he said this millions of times before. Like, Voldemort killed my parents. I have no parents. He attacked me when I was a baby. It makes even more sense. Like, again, I'm not this inconsiderate towards him when I'm reading the book. I swear I'm not, because it's understandable he's a victim like he didn't deserve any of this shit like that's just so fucked up that this full grown wizard he ruined his life he ruined so many people's life so like harry potter's not the only one he ruined a lot of people's lives but god damn like, he's just a baby. Why the fuck did he try to kill a baby off of some kind of stupid prophecy that he heard about? Like, prophecies don't always come true. He could have easily just been like, you know what, I'm fine. But what if it was a self-fulfilling prophecy? What if the whole reason why Voldemort failed in the first place and why he got defeated in the first place was because of this fucking prophecy. If he hadn't have heard this prophecy, he might have not gone after Harry, and he could still be a pretty fucking powerful wizard, and nothing would have happened. Like, he- nothing- I just- I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna go get the twitching drumstick. I can't- th th that's just so funny. Okay, let's get the hair. I'll probably transform into Harry, and then I'm signing off. It's been a great time. Um, if you liked my video, please like it and possibly even subscribe. And there's going to be more Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets coming up next time. Thanks for hanging in there, Nostalgic. See you next time.